What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. Got the boy with me today. What's up? KTB TV, you already know. But today we are at a pond that I don't think I've ever fished on the channel. Maybe once, twice, something like that. But regardless, I haven't really fished it that much. But there is one really cool thing about this little pond, guys, is that it has some monster fish in here. I'm talking like some seven, eight, nines, tens, but they're hard to catch. They're definitely in here, but they're super, super hard to catch. And that is because there's just like an infestation of these smaller fish. There's like just a million little Twinkies, Jimmies, rats, whatever you want to call them. You just cannot seem to avoid them at all costs. So our game plan today is just to get out there and start fishing like we normally would. And then after we've caught our like limit of like 300 small fish, we're probably going to switch over to some bigger baits to kind of try to target those big fish. Just try to use something those smaller fish are probably going to avoid and like they're still going to eat some bigger baits that I'm gonna throw in here like I just it's just ridiculous man you'll see how it goes but let's go ahead and hop in the boat and I'll show you what we're gonna be rigging up and hopefully we catch us a giant All right. Don't fall. I'll try my best <laughs> let's get on out of here that. You just, <laughs> yeah, just bust it wouldn't be the first time I'm not gonna lie <laughs> Time to jump into what we're working with today. Our first bait of choice right here is just gonna be a little half ounce black and blue jig. I normally would throw a black and blue little trailer on here, but I am fresh out. Uh, I've just gone through all my plastics recently, so we're just gonna work with that today. But what I have on my trailer, I normally, like I said, it would normally be black and blue, but I don't have that. But it is these Powerbait Maxence Creature Hogs and Green Pumpkin Party. Like I said, still wish I had the darker color, but this is going to do that mix and match is going to be just fine i'm really just looking for just extra flash on this i wouldn't say flash but like extra size on this bait so it just has more commotion in the water so it's easier for these fish to find just the water's really really stained up right now so you just want something that's going to stand out so we're going to get started with that and i'll probably throw on a few different baits as the day goes on so just stay tuned and hopefully we find ourselves a good one Always make sure you check your drag guys before you start fishing. They definitely loosen up over time, regardless whether you touch them or not. So just make sure every time you're about to do a little bit of fishing to check that. So you make sure it's nice and good. But besides that, you also wanna check your little spool tension, make sure it's adjusted for the proper size weight of your bait that's on there. And I think we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start skipping up in this stuff. Oh, God, no. God, it was, I didn't feel anything on that hook set, but I don't know if it, was, if it was the way the boat was moving. It just seemed like it was getting slack. I'm going to go out in front of this. I think there's, I'm pretty sure there's some stuff out in front of this dock. <laughs> natural, natural fish attracted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, natural. Oh, that's fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was like the third time today. I was not oh. gonna get dumped. Well, I didn't want to set the hook because, the, like, I didn't want I that was, to happen. I, know, I can tell you hesitated. <laughs> Holy cow. Because so cool. you're like literally oh, just it turned so into cool. like my hook set. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not that was 100% a fish, though. Like, he was moving That's with it. Road. I was like holding on because I didn't want to. That was what I was trying to avoid right there. <laughs> I'm trying to not catch the small ones. And I've got some bites. I just, the ones that I've had a chance of getting a good hook set on, you've kind of been in the way, which isn't your fault, but just, there we go. There we go. There's one. Finally. No, it wasn't in the way for that one. <laughs> and of course, I think it's probably the, the smallest bite I've had so far. But let's go ahead and get him 
off the hook right here. Small little guy. These are the little small ones I was telling you all about. There's a million of these things in here. So let's go ahead and give him a toss back in, move on to the next. We're gonna try to find us a fish that's much, much bigger than that. There's, that's a little bit better fish. Not a whole lot better, but definitely, oh, God, smacked him right into the side of the boat by accident. But a chunkier little guy, a little bit longer, a little bit fatter. Oh, gosh, I got butterfingers. All right, let's try that again. There it goes. <laughs> There's one. That's a better one. A little... Definitely got a little meat on him. He ate that thing coming up out of the water right there. Third fish of the day, I believe. Something like that. Thanks for munching there, little bud. Tried to grab it right from me when I was taking it out of the water. So we actually decided to call an audible. The pond that we were fishing was just really, really slow. It is brutally hot out here, guys. I mean, the heat index is like 110, 115 once again. The dog days of summer are almost over, but we just gotta push through those final few days. I'm floating. <laughs> I'm floating off the fish. Oh, better go grab Noah really quick. I'm oh, oh, oh no, oh no, what is going don't on? Me, don't leave me. <laughs> don't need that. We actually decided to switch ponds and we only did that because the bite in there was just super, super slow. And we're actually going to this pond right here. I'm sure y'all probably recognize it if you've been watching the channel for a while. It's a pretty solid pond and we know where the fish are kind of hanging out in here. So we're gonna go out here and try to catch them on some deep structure and we know we can probably get a few good bites out here. We were just trying not to come out here. I really didn't want to like come to this pond just because I have fished a lot. So I'm gonna try to make sure I switch it up in some future vids. So let's go ahead and hop in the boat and jump right into it. I'm just gonna throw this jig out here just to get a bite, just to know what it feels like. I'm probably gonna be towel on too. Oh, there we go. They should munch it out here. This is our favorite bait to throw out in this lake. There's one. There's one. Got him. Got him. Swimming right at me. And we got ourselves a nice little fat one. Best one of the day so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She is chunky. That is a nice fat one, guys. Right off that deep stuff. That is just where they've been hanging out. Oh, yes. That's a nice three pounder. All stinking day. All stinking day. Probably about three and a half. Annihilated that jig, guys, right there in the top of the mouth. Let me pluck that sucker out of there. That is a good feeling after a long, hot day. It's been a struggle, guys. We've been popping around, just haven't had much luck, and to finally come out here and smoke myself a nice little three and a halfer feels really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her right back in there and follow that up with another little jig toss. See if I can't get another one. Oh, I'm riding it. You're in the, yeah. you're in the thick stuff. Yeah. I'm all up in it. Are you in it? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that would be yes. It's a jerk. You, it out of my hand. Really you are in fact in it. <laughs> I am in it. Oh my god. That is so much fun. Oh, I got one. Man. Hold on. Yep. <laughs> oh oh no, he came off. Oh. oh, your body was in the way for like he was going the wrong way dang oh i couldn't get a good hook set i thought that little clump right there was like your jig i was like why is your jig floating <laughs> i'm losing it i'm losing it man oh get him that's a fish that's a fish right there there ain't there ain't no doubt about that <laughs> that offshore about so much man you that can't eat it. Like, you, you just really, can't. Look, that one has like a hole in its side. Is that the same fish I caught? I think it is, dude. No way. I, I think this is the exact same fish you caught. Right, that is the same fish I caught. 100%. <laughs> 
I caught the same, <laughs> dude, this is crazy. That is, With that's insane. little indention. I promise you that's, that's ex fish. No, that's ex literally the exact same fish. Um, unless, I'll take that. Unless you've got a twin with the same. <laughs> that is crazy. That's something else, guys. I don't know if I have the clip, but I'll show it if I do. Noah literally caught this same fish with this little indention in it, uh, like probably, I don't know, like a week ago, yeah. something like that. Look at that, guys. That's a good fish. Pretty skinny for what he is, though. Look at that. He should be like a three pounder, but he's yeah, Look so at that, skinny. like, dent he has on his back. Other side. Oh, what? Look at this, guys. Look at that. That's weird. He's got like a big hole in his back, but that fish could easily be three pounds if he was fatter. It's crazy. That's pretty crazy. I don't, was it on this structure? No, was it, it was actually on one on that side. Was it over there? there? Yeah, that's on that side. Or no, it was on that point. That's crazy, that dude. That's crazy. So that fish he, he, shows that they move and get on these other offshore spots. I mean, of all the fish in this, in this little lake, man, that's pretty crazy to noticeably catch the, the same one. That is so crazy. <laughs> Especially when there's that many down there, like it is loaded. It's crazy. Dude. We'll zing it back in there. My favorite way. To... Maybe he'll bite it again. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got so many bites right here. So crazy, They're just on it, dude. <laughs> I don't blame them. This time of year, they gotta go. They gotta go somewhere. They gotta go somewhere. They just gonna stack up on these good spots. Here we go. Another so one. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, he hit it the second I pulled it over, whatever that branch was. Let's go. Another thick boy. Just, they're all fired up on this offshore stuff. Another three pounder. That one's fat. That's a really fat one, guys. Look how chunky he is. That is him and he is just filled out. That is a nice fish to catch too, because me and Noah have been talking about it. Like all these fish this last week or so have just been really, really skinny. And this is by far the fattest one I've seen by like a long shot. A yeah. yeah, I got him hooked good too. There we go, got it out. But that is like a three and a half pound fish in a two pounds in a two pounder's body right there. That is that's pretty funny. I'm gonna let him go and swim right back on down to that deep structure. I'm sure that's exactly where he's gonna go. Looking for another meal. All right, guys, gonna go ahead and switch gears over to this little paddle tail on this little half ounce jig head. And this is the grass pig by Berkeley. It's a power bait. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss this thing out here over this deep structure and see if I can't get a fish to come up and smack this thing. Just gonna throw it out there, let it sink down for a few seconds so it gets right above that stuff. It's probably about, I don't know, nine, 10 feet of water and just slow crank this thing a little bit. And then I'm probably gonna just speed it up and pause it. Speed it up and pause. Hopefully they're gonna eat on that pause or when it fires back up. Oh, oh yeah, it is a fish. I thought I was snagged. I think I was snagged and it like popped off and uh, that fish came up and hit it the second, came, like it started rising on me. I think that's our best one today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a big one guys. That's a four. That's a four pounder all day. Um, yeah, I got this one with the swim bait. I'm just coming over the top of that tree. You got her? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Good fish. That's almost four pounds. Uh, she's right at that. I don't, I don't think she's... Fat. Short <laughs> she might be four. I think she's definitely a high three. Uh, I'll see if the scale works. You know? It hasn't been one that worked, but we're going to try it. Yeah, three, seven, three, eight. It's kind of going back and forth. Not as big as I thought. I thought she was a little bit bigger than that, but that is a nice fish right there I definitely would say that's probably the best one so far of the day nice big meaty fat girl let's go ahead and let her on go she wanted that little swim bait though oh there she goes yes sir 
I was just slow rolling that across the top of that stuff. That's another one. Yep. Another one on the swim bait. Yeah. Yeah. Another good one. Maybe they relocated here on that side instead of on the I think so. That one came from the, this one came from the very, very far side of this stuff. Like I usually do not hook one that far over. Oh no, throw my swim bait. It threw it. Oh, <laughs> come here, bud. Oh, dang it. Snap me off. Snap me off. I'm gonna grab another one of these little swim baits. Get it back here on my little thing. Oh, oh you missed another one? Dude, they're not eating it all the way. Oh, a freaking bite. I know. That's what I love it. Clobbered it. Just one hard. Just... Boom. There wasn't no mistake in that bite. Oh, oh there's one. Yes, yeah, sir. On the paddle tail. Ate it pretty dang good there, too. Got him stuck there in the corner of his mouth. He just, he just wetted me a little bit. Did he? There we go. Come on in here, bud. Not the biggest one of the day, but a healthy little two. They've been eating this paddle tail pretty dang good over this stuff. A lot better than they were the other day, which is nice to see. I'm definitely slowed it down a good bit too. Like the other day when I was throwing this across the top of this stuff, I was fishing a little bit faster. Today I've been really slowing that thing down a lot, letting it get right on top of this stuff and they're definitely reacting to it a lot better. And on that note guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video, but hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And guys, I promise the next video will hopefully be a bank fishing video. I'm back in Charlotte, as you might be able to tell here behind me. So I'm planning on going out tomorrow to do a little bit of bank fishing. And hopefully that will be the next video as long as I don't get rained out. There's some storm clouds and stuff working through this way. So we're just gonna have to see how it goes. But if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And if you wanna go the extra mile, hit that little bell notification as well. But as always, a bass and a passion. Peace out.